Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. This is my nephew, Parker Midas. You can follow him on YouTube mm -hmm. at Parker Midas. Um, he is in town visiting, and so we are going to be making a yummy viral Caesar salad chicken-based pizza that, of course, I have seen and never made, mm -hmm. and he has actually made this, but we are going to give it a whirl here for uh, uh, your pleasure and for both of our audiences. So this one looked delicious. So we're going to get started here. I'm going to pull over the Cuisinart here. And so we're going to start. I've got two cans here of chicken. You can put one of those in. I have drained it and then I rinsed it really well and then drained it again with water. Joe, you, you need a tool there? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now we will start here, get our chicken in the, chicken in the mix here. I was gonna maybe double this recipe because both the boys are here and we have enough to feed them, but I knew it wouldn't fit in my Cuisinart, so we're just doing one portion of this. So to this, I'm gonna add um, about two thirds of a cup of Parmesan cheese, and you know around here, we always grate our own, so no pre-grated around here. And we are gonna add an egg to that. Put the shell in there. And then, good job, good job. Uh. And I'm gonna put the, just stick it right here to the bowl. And then uh, you need a towel. Hold on. Uh, there you go. We're gonna add a teaspoon of garlic powder. <laughs> oh, get that going here. Get one out of here. There we go. Teaspoon of garlic powder. And then you wanna do half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper with the lid off there. I've actually made this uh, a similar version of this chicken pizza before. I made it in the past when I was in my experimental high protein recipe phase. And now I'm a little more just basic when it comes to the things I eat. But at the time I was like, chicken pizza, high protein, zero carb. I was like, that is for me. And I made it and it takes, it takes a lot more time than a normal pizza, but the, uh, the calories you're saving is, is crazy. Okay, so we're gonna give that a whirl here, blend it up. I don't really wanna make baby food out of no, it. No, you gotta so. make it paste. You gotta make it to the point where it's like... Really? Yeah. More than that? Yeah. Okay, well good thing he's made this before. <laughs> <laughs> so you wanna make it like baby food? <laughs> yeah, I mean, or, so you can mold it properly. Okay, all right. How's that? Oh. Scrape it down. It again. One more, okay. We'll give it enough, another hit here. But this just looked good. What I liked about this recipe, good, good, okay, is uh, you could make this as an appetizer for a party because we're gonna we're gonna make this in one pizza today. But um, I was thinking you could make these in little, you know, three inch rounds because we're gonna top this with a Caesar salad. Um, we're going to make a homemade dressing here for you in a second. Um, but you could make these as a, on a little platter as an appetizer. And I thought, because they're gluten-free too. So, you oh, know, yeah. when you go to a party and some people are gluten-free, it's always nice to have something that they can eat. <laughs> and I thought this was a good one. It solves the gluten-free, high protein, you know, people that are watching their diet. It solves all those things for a party or just for a meal and the trick is to not tell them that it's chicken <laughs> <laughs> yeah that works too here you go okay you want to use that we'll take sure. we'll take this I just want to make sure we get all of it on okay, we don't want to cool. we don't we want to make sure we're not don't waste exactly okay so then this this is when you got to get dirty you just got to suck it up and get your hands dirty <laughs> it's it's not the most pleasant experience but uh you uh you kind of get over it it gets kind of fun did you, is this sprayed? It might be. Is it what? Is it like non-stick? Yes. Okay. Mm. This is gonna be good. Cause I mean, what's not good with chicken and cheese? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know? You know what we could, oh, you know what else I could probably use for a tool here is a, uh, I have an offset spatula here you could use if you are so inclined. Well, no, well, 
Would you like me to help you? <laughs> well, now my hands are all dirty. I gotta commit to it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You want me to help you? You want to scrape it off your hands? <laughs> oh! Uh, what do you think? You want the edges? You want it to be smooth? I just want it to be the same thickness, so it cooks evenly. So I just want—I don't want it to have any thick parts. Is that how thick it should be? Yeah, I mean, it, my e expert. It's uh, it's up for discretion. I mean, you just right. gotta eyeball it, basically. Okay. That looks good. I'm looks good. I'm good with you. Okay, okay. Well, there is our chicken pizza bottom, and let me put this aside. We're gonna make the dressing for the Caesar salad that's gonna go on top. Would you like to go rinse your hands off? <laughs> okay. My handy dandy ninja here. So in the Ninja, for our dressing, I have one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. I have about a quarter cup of cottage cheese, just because I thought it would give it a little bit more body. And to that, I'm going to add one lemon juice, of course, off my tree. Lemon juice going in. And then I'm going to add some anchovy paste. Recipe calls for one anchovy. Well, I wasn't going to buy a whole can, because I don't know who around here would eat a can of anchovies. I don't know, honey, would you eat a can of anchovies? My husband might. He would. Not me. Or you? Not yeah, me. Not me. Not me. But, I, but anchovy fresh, anch anchovy makes it on a Caesar sa uh, sa uh, salad. This is just a tube of anchovy paste. It comes in a box like this, and it's inexpensive. I think this was like $1.59. So we're going to do a teaspoon or so, one anchovy worth. So we're just going to give it a little squeeze of a little anchovy for the flavor. So I guess we'll be making Caesar salad around here some mm. more because we, we, we got a whole tube. Do we have to come up with a whole series of anchovy paste recipes? I don't think so. <laughs> no? <laughs> um, to that, we're going to put the garlic in. And then we're going to put some more cheese in. He's probably going to need a tool for that. Here you go. We'll put the garlic in there. Because, you know, Caesar salad, anchovies, and garlic. Yum! And we'll taste it, see if it needs more anchovies. And then we're going to put about um, three quarters of a cup of Parmesan. Again, I grated it, so it is freshly grated, so it doesn't have any stuff on it. And then we're going to do some black pepper. Get that in there. Of course, you can never have too much black pepper, especially on a salad around here for us. And then once we toss the salad, you know, I'll put more in, but let's see. Get plenty in there. Okay. And then we'll give it a whirl. Grab our lid. This is very secure, this thing, so we'll get it on there and then close it so we'll get attached. Get it attached. My old one finally died after 30 years, so now I have a safety featured one. Hey, you want to give that a whirl? What do I do? Pulse, just go. <laughs> Keep going. You have to try to scrape it down. I can't see in there. We'll take the lid off. You have to unlock it because it's, like I said, Mr. Safety Blender. Okay, we're going to push our, scrape it down a little bit because we got some cheese going on in here. And let's push it down so we can make sure we got it all blended. There we go. Lock, lock and load. <laughs> taste this for salt and pepper so we'll let you be our taster. Parker is a Caesar salad connoisseur so does it need salt, pepper, more anchovies? It's a little sour. A little sour? Yeah. So let's put a little salt in there to balance our lemon and get you some salt. Here we go. Brighten it up a little bit. There we go. Throw some salt in there. And let's see how that does. Because we got a lot of lemon. You think we need more anchovy paste? Mm, no. Anchovy paste, no. Okay. Let's see. We'll use the other end. It's for sanitary. Here you go. Tastes okay. like Caesar dressing. Well, that's what it's supposed <laughs> to taste like. <laughs> Okay, well, we are going to cook our chicken, and we will be back to dress our Caesar salad and top it 
um, with our dressing and our lettuce and some more cheese. And we will be back by the magic of TV. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> hey, our chicken pizza is done. Parker's going to grab it out of the oven here. You can see how our yummy chicken pizza turned out. Oh my gosh. Nice and golden brown. Mm. Looks delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yum, huh? So we are gonna make the topping for this. We are gonna make a Caesar salad out of our delicious dressing that we just made. So in here, in the salad spinner here, I have two um, stalks of romaine that we chopped. And we're gonna throw that in there. And then we're gonna dress it with maybe half of that. That's a, yeah, that's, that's maybe too much. Half half of that is probably plenty. So it's been in the fridge for a few minute, few minutes while we cook the chicken, and so let the flavors all meld together, and then he will toss that up. I'm gonna oh. put a little. Go 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 ahead. I'm gonna do a little fresh cracked pepper on there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. Viral videos got nothing on us, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My new pepper shaker is harder to turn. Okay, I'm going to give you a little cheese because, you know, what's a Caesar salad without a little cheese? Toss that up. A couple oh, more. Cut, yeah, toss the cheese in. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Smells good. And then we are going to show you this beautifulness. Our yummy Caesar salad here. Leave, just leave, leave, leave them in the bowl. Leave them in the bowl. And then we will serve this up. So you want to put the, put our chicken on. We take it off the paper. There you go. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Oh, look at that. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. <laughs> like I said, you could make these for an appetizer too. What I'm thinking. Oh my gosh. Look at that. You're going to have plenty of salad. So creative. Doesn't this look good? So if you made these appetizer size, like I said, made them like little three inch discs. I just chopped the lettuce a little smaller. So your guests don't have Caesar salad all over them, but it would be delicious. So now, would you like to cut yourself a slice of that? We will, Give my best we will go. do a taste test here of our, our attempt at the viral recipes. <laughs> I can't see. Can't see. Oh, well, that's a, not the biggest one, but it's okay. It's enough for us to taste it. Here you go. Oh my gosh, looks good, huh? No, I'm just gonna eat like a normal pizza. Little, well, you can pick it up. Little baby pizza. Slice. However you want to. Let us know what you think. If it's as good as the last time you made it's, it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. That's the moment of truth. It tastes, <laughs> it tastes like a chicken Caesar salad, but it's like such a fun way to eat it. I mean, you probably practically probably wouldn't eat it with your hands. You'd eat it with a fork and knife properly, but that chicken is really good. Oh, good. So there's a new twist on chicken Caesar salad. New way to have it. New way to serve it for a party. You could make it small, like I said, make it big. Um, and it satisfies your gluten-free guests or your gluten-free family me uh, members and something new and different and something, frankly, the kids might even eat. So thanks for watching. It's always a pleasure. Love having my special guest, my nephew Parker Midas here as my official ta uh, taster. And we thank you for watching.